What's up everyone, Andy here, bringing you more from climaterealism.com. So for those of you that have kept up with these videos, you probably realize I have a little bit of a routine where I go to Google, I type in climate change, and I find the articles they promote right up to the top, and then I bring them to you. And that's what we're doing today. We have an article promoted to the top of Google News from Fast Company, a relatively unknown, I had never heard of it, website that put out an article titled, How to Save Coffee from Climate Change. So, yep, coffee, the newest victim of climate change. So the article says that increased temperatures are making coffee harder to grow and less tasty. Oof, less tasty? I mean, I got, I got coffee right here. I don't want to hear that. By the way, you all like this? It says, I love CO2. Thought you might all like this. Um, all right. So, yeah, that's the claim. And they basically say that coffee production is suffering worldwide because of climate change. But that's not what the data shows. So the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization reported that coffee production increased from 1994 to 2018. The specific numbers, in 1994, we produced 5.7 million tons of coffee. In 2018, we produced 10.3 million tons of coffee. So that essentially doubled. But here's the more interesting part. The International Coffee Organization says that coffee farmers are having problems, but it's not production. What's actually happening is that they're producing so much coffee that global supply exceeds global demand, and it's actually caused coffee production or coffee prices to, to be too low. Like producers, essentially, they don't make enough money from it. So some of them have just closed up shop because they're producing so much. It's like, well, we're not making enough money from this. But that's the real issue here. I mean, I've talked about this in the past, but growing seasons have increased. Carbon dioxide is essentially plant food. But yeah, so we're actually producing too much coffee. But okay, so Fast Company talked about four specific nations in their article, referencing who's struggling with coffee. Now, I went and I found the percentage increase in coffee production in those nations from 1994 to 2018. Here's what it is. They talked about Brazil. Brazil has increased their coffee production by 172% from 1994 to 2018. They talked about Ethiopia. Ethiopia has increased their production 127%. They talked about Indonesia. Indonesia has increased their coffee production by 60%. This is all 1994 to 2018. And finally, they talked about Vietnam, which has increased their coffee production by 798%. So that doesn't sound like coffee production is struggling. That sounds like 798%, which is a massive increase. And it's like what I said, what the International Coffee Organization says. We're actually have, we're producing too much. Supply outweighs demand. So Google, as usual, promoted the Fast Company or any other relatively unknown website to the top of their search results to spread the message of climate alarmism. And the Fast Company article, by the way, included no real world data. It was just talking to people and saying that we have a, cri a climate crisis, which is what these things generally are. Because if you actually look at the real world data, which is what I'm bringing you, it clearly shows we are not having some dearth of coffee production. But all right, I wanted to bring this story to you all uh, for today. Dandy with the Heartland Institute. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.